What is up, guys? My name is Thaddeus. I'm sick. That's why I haven't uploaded in like three days, two days. Two, this will be the third if I can't get this one up. Sorry, but I will get this one up. If you can't tell, I have a super stuffy nose. I am. Um, my throat hurts. There's like shit in my throat, like phlegm. Sick stuff. <coughs> oh, see. Well, mm. let's get in the video, guys. But one thing, the course is closing soon. I gotta always plug. But the 25. Uh, percent discount code is right there at the top of the YouTube video description if you are interested in that there's a video about the course like up here I think or something like that check it out let's get right to the video guys and uh, enjoy leave a like comment subscribe you know all that fun stuff uh, let's go I want to talk about like the legalities of setting up like a business um, for Shopify dropshipping and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys what I did when I started out <laughs> and then I'm gonna tell you what you probably should do um, when you're starting out okay so when I first started Everything went under my personal bank account, right? Uh, for my first store, so I didn't, I didn't like incorporate. Like I, I, I started, I was dirt broke, right? So I didn't like in Washington for me to file as an LLC, you need two hundred fifty dollars, and then there's a few other things that you need that can rack up to maybe around three hundred dollars um, to actually like fully get everything like, like, like legit, like legitimate, right? I didn't have money for that. I didn't even know like about that stuff when I started, so. I didn't do that. It was all under my personal account. My nose is stuffy. I'm sorry, but I got I got I got somewhat smart and I I made a and I opened a new personal checking account and I moved all the money in there so that at least it was like separate from like my other shit that was I was spending money on and stuff like that. So that's what I did. And the, uh, please refuel. All right, I guess I need to go get gas, but I'll do that after this recording. So what did I do? Right. So I opened up another personal account. Then I had all the money going there. Okay. And then. Someone told me uh, that like I could get like if I got sued or something it would like fuck me up um, Personally, that's uh just cuz like there's there's no business entity behind the site It's just me as a person um, So then I kind of got scared So I got a free consultation with some like accountant in my area and then she kind of told me what I need to do And so that's what I did guys I didn't actually incorporate my first site or do anything like that like no legalities uh, when I started so that like I didn't um yeah, I'm yeah, that's I don't know illegalities, okay? With all my new sites that I started up, I would um like I have an LLC and then I'd filed like a uh, new DBAs for each store. So they all go under one LLC, but I have different bank accounts, like different business checking accounts in each like for each store, okay? Um so what you guys should do if you're just starting off, it's your first store, if you're dirt broke, um like uh I didn't tell you this, I didn't advise this, but like you might just be able to get away with, you know, not incorporating <laughs> I didn't say that but if you do have money if you do have like a little bit of money um, to spend and you want to be like super super safe too because like if you do get sued even as like a sole proprietor or something like that um, it's still like the liability is still on you and all your personal assets like your car your house um, all that other stuff but if you are like if you do incorporate as an LLC then the only things that are um, like in danger so I'm just getting a bunch of snapchats, but um, if the only thing that you are in danger of is the actual business assets that you own So it'd be like the Shopify site or all the other stuff coming into Shopify So like not a whole lot, right? So that's why it's safer. That's why I personally file as LLC for everything I do and yeah So that's that's like the kind of legitimacy legitimacy of it and it also makes things a lot easier when like you like apply for the PayPal business account or um, just open up a new additional like checking accounts and then um, after you get your LLC guys make sure you apply for an EIN number um, that's free online to do after you have um, all your paperwork and shit but yeah guys I didn't actually start out with a legal like business okay and I know a lot of you guys are like not of age or you don't have money to start a legal like to like invest in actually like making a business legitimate and like that's okay especially for your first site as long as you're not doing like if you're if you're making more than 200 a day in sales then I then then I'd probably say like all right it's time to kind of get a little serious about this and like like secure the bag right like go 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 incorporate okay so if you're making over 200 a day that's when I do it if you're making less than 200 a day I wouldn't worry too much about it then again though like I didn't I didn't say that right um, I don't want to get in trouble so that's that guys if um, if you do have questions or anything like that like I mean personally I don't know a whole bunch about like taxes and stuff like that what I use is QuickBooks okay I have all that stuff set up and then my accountant has access to my QuickBooks so she does all my tax paperwork all my filings everything that I need to do just because I don't know it right so like that's the thing that's the thing if you don't know how to do something you can learn it or you can you know outsource it to someone who knows it better than you and me personally if, if if I'm not familiar with an industry especially like financing and like accounting and stuff like I'm not trying to learn that shit I'm trying to like focus on my own businesses and like grow that hire an accountant guys it's not too expensive too at least I, I don't know like crazy rates and stuff but she charges me like um, I think it's like 50 
50 an hour or something like that um, but that's like literally like $300 a month or something gets all my paperwork done but that's the, that's the that's the super quick video guys like you you honestly don't need to incorporate right away but once you start making a solid amount of money like 200 a day okay 200 a day is like your, your benchmark right once you pass that I'd look into incorporating just cuz Uncle Sam is gonna like have his eye out for you and you don't want um, you don't you don't want to get the government involved when you're just trying to be like drop ship right like it's not like yeah okay so just incorporate after $200 if you are under $200 then just keep investing in your business try to scale that up and the second you pass that benchmark that's when you should look into incorporating and making it like legitimate and then talking to an accountant get a free consultation they all they usually all do free consultations you know you just set up a meeting with them and give them the lowdown but that's this video guys super super quick if you if you enjoyed it leave a like comment subscribe respond to all the comments I'm super tired Sorry I haven't uploaded, I know I was like, yeah, daily vlogs, and then I just haven't uploaded in three days just because I'm super, super fucking sick, but that's okay. So, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. The course is closing soon. If you are interested in that, there's a 25% discount right there at the bottom or very beginning of the YouTube video description. Uh, I don't know when that's going to close, but it is going to close. If you don't know what the course is actually about, there's a video right up there I think yeah somewhere up there um, you can watch that it like tells you everything about the video it has testimonials all that good stuff so that's the video guys leave a like if you enjoyed I will see you guys in the next one take care I'm gonna go take some medications I love you guys peace